Hello YouTube and the collective. I am Impress Figure, also known as Afia, and this is my channel. Welcome to my channel. Love messages from the Most High, the Supreme Divine. Okay, so just to let you guys know, I have been sent by the Most High to send love messages to you. These love messages are straight from the divine. So they are coming straight from the most high. And these are messages that he's giving me so that I can let you know. Okay. So these are love messages. And the first thing that the most high wants me to let you know is, or that, you know, the most high wants you to know is that love is the foundation of our existence okay love is the foundation of our existence without love there is no excuse me let me just fix this there is no uh no peace there is no peace without love there is no ascending without love it's just not, it's just can't, it just doesn't go together. If you don't have love, you don't have peace. And if you don't have love, you don't, you don't ascend. Okay. Some people want to stay in the same place all their life. They don't want to progress. They don't want to change. They don't want nothing. However, that's not what the most high has planned for you. Um, no, he wants us to be able to definitely have peace. Okay. Within ourselves, within our environments, with them amongst one another. And he also wants us to be able to ascend and progress and, 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 and grow and change. Okay. So with that being said, um, this is the lesson from the most high. Okay. Um, now I want to ask you a question. What is love? We use the word love all the time. We hear the word love all the time. I mean, we use the word love more than pretty much any other word, any other action word, right? So, um, people use the word love to describe like how they feel about something or someone. Um, but what is truly love and do we action love? Okay. Now I want to talk to you a little bit about the 10 commandments because it's important to understand, um, why the 10 commandments was given to us, why God gave Moses the 10 commandments to give to us. It's important to understand how love is the foundation of our existence. So this is the exact reason why love is so important. Okay. And this is also the reason why if we do not incorporate and practice love action in our life, in our lives, um, we will always run into some type of complications um, when it comes to peace and when it comes to ascending, okay, for starters. So um, the first thing that I want to say so again, it is important to understand that love is the foundation of our existence. Um, this is the exact reason why love is so important. Um, this is the exact reason why God and Jesus made love the principles of life. Without love, we cannot grow mentally and we cannot grow spiritually. So um, the Most High also wants me to let you know that there is no growing mentally. There is no growing spiritually if you do not practice love in your existence. Okay. Now, what I would also, um, what I would like to do is I would like to explain to you why the commandments um, em em embodies uh, the foundation of love, okay? So, um, so now, let me just break down to you. Um, the Ten Commandments, okay? I'm not going to break it down. I'm just going to tell you what the Ten Commandments are so that I can, you know, give clarity to the message that God is wanting you, wanting you to have today. So, 
The first commandment is, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not have no graven, no, thou shalt not make any graven images in, um, on earth or heaven above. Okay? Thou shalt not use the Lord, the Lord thy name, the Lord God thy name in vain. The fourth commandment is honor the Sabbath day and to keep it holy. The fifth commandment is honor thy father and thy mother. The sixth commandment is no killing. Seventh commandment is no adultery. Eighth is no stealing. The ninth commandment is no bearing false witness against your neighbor. And the tenth commandment is no coveting. Okay? Coveting. Coveting. Tomato, tomato. Okay. So, let me break it down to you. So, commandments one through four... Okay, first of all, commandments one through 10 is all about love. Okay, and I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. But I want to jump forward, okay, because God gave Moses the commandments um, and, and God told Moses to give us the commandments so that we can live, you know, live in these commandments because the command, these commandments is the foundation of love, right? So then let's fast forward. So Jesus came. Jesus came. He was on earth. Um, and when Jesus came, uh, Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 through 40, tells you that Jesus said, okay, so there are only two great commandments that you must follow, Right? So, so Jesus said, you know what, you know, don't worry about, listen, listen, there's two great commandments that you need to follow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the two great commandments is love God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. Okay. And the second great commandment is love your neighbor as you love yourself. So Jesus came on earth and he said, those are the only two, these are the two great commandments, and these are the only two commandments that you need to keep. Now, let's not get confused, okay? That doesn't mean you can steal and you can kill and you can, you know, do whatever, no. Because if you do those things, obviously you're not keeping the second great commandment, which is love your neighbor as you love yourself, okay? Which is where I'm getting at. So... This is the reason why um, the commandments was given to us, okay? But then Jesus came on earth, and then he said, you only got to keep two great commandments, and that's love God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and then love your neighbor as you love yourself. Now, if you notice that um, commandment one, no gods before me, no graven images, and do not use the Lord that name, the Lord name, the Lord that God's name in vain, those are, that is the first great commandment which is love, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, and mind, okay? So the, the commandment number one through four encompasses the first great commandment that Jesus said, which was honor and love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, and your mind, okay? Now, commandments, Five through ten, which is honor thy father and thy mother, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not uh, um, commit adultery, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, um, and no coveting, okay? That falls under the second great commandment that Jesus gave us when he was on earth, and that is love your neighbor as you love yourself. So, Collective, this is what I'm saying. Like, if we were to all keep the Ten Commandments, or even just keep the first, um, I'm sorry, the great, the the two great commandments that Jesus gave to us here on Earth when He was here on Earth, He gave us that. Hey, keep the great two great commandments. Okay, so basically, those two great commandments that Jesus gave to us. It encompasses all 10 commandments. It encompasses all 10 commandments. Again, one through four is loving the Lord that God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Commandments five through 10. 
okay? It's loving your neighbor as you love yourself. The only way that we are action in love is by, first of all, keeping the commandments. No God's before me. God said, love me. Put me first. No graven images. That's what he don't want you to make no graven images in his name. Like, no. Do not use the name of the Lord that God in vain, which a lot of people do. So if you're doing this, that's part of the commandments and God doesn't like it. Okay. Um, what is using the Lord that God's name in vain? Basically, using the Lord's name in vain means that you are calling out his name and you're saying his name but it is for no reason no good reason anyway he doesn't like that so just in case you didn't know now you too okay um honor the sabbath day a lot of people don't honor the sabbath day but this is all part of keeping the first great commandment that jesus gave to us on earth honor your Honor our Heavenly Father. Honor honor God with all of your heart, mind, and soul. So no, commandments number one through four, right alone, is explaining to you the love that we should have for God. Okay? And commandments five through ten is explaining the love that we should have for one another. Okay? Honor your father and your mother. Of course you honor your father and your mother. I don't care if they're a piece of shit. Okay? Honor, um, I'm sorry, no killing. Of course. You know what I'm saying? That's self-explanatory. No adultery. No stealing. No bearing false witness against your neighbor. Uh, no, combat no coveting. If you don't know what coveting is, if you don't know what coveting is, coveting is wanting something that, uh, that, that you want exactly what your neighbor has. You want exactly what your neighbor has. You, you could, it's one thing to say, yo, Yo, I like them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I like them, you know what I'm saying? I like them sneakers over there. Like, those sneakers are, are nice. Like, like, where did you get them? That's different because then you like them and you're going to go and you're going to, you know, take your, your money and you're going to get them yourself for you. There's nothing wrong with that. But when you start to say, you know what, you see them sneakers right there on your feet? I want those sneakers right there. I'm going to rob you. Because then that goes into stealing and that goes into breaking the commandments. Like, it's just, it's a it's a chain reaction, guys. So, it is very important to understand that um, all, all the Ten Commandments play, uh, all, encompasses the, the two great commandments. Okay? So, again coveting we not supposed to be like yo that the, I, yo your wife is beautiful i want her nah get your own wife bruh get your own wife get your own whatever you could like it you know what i'm saying whatever it's fine but there are duplicates or there is something else or something similar i don't care but you don't want the same exact thing that somebody else has okay because that leads again into not loving your neighbor as you love yourself because then what? When you want something that somebody else has, you're going to take it. And if you take something that doesn't belong to you or if you take something that, you know, you don't have permission to take, then that is wrong. And that breaks, you know, the, the that breaks, you know, the line of, you know, loving your neighbor as you love yourself and loving God with all your heart, mind, and soul. Okay, first of all, when you break the, the, the commandments, any one of them, you, you're breaking the love. Like, you're breaking... You know what I'm saying? The, what about your love for God? If you love God, you would keep my commandments. That's what the Bible says. If you love me, keep my commandments. Listen, the commandments are not grievous. They're only grievous, you know, if you don't have the right mindset and love with God. If you truly love God and you truly love Jesus, you know what I'm saying? And you want to do the right thing and you want to grow, you want to change, you want to be better, then... Obviously, you're going to want to do the right thing, which is what God put in place for us to do for a reason. And he is the all, nothing and no one would exist if he did not create it. Okay, so let's trust him and let's all do, you know, the right thing and action love. And we start, we start by action and love through following the commandments. If you want to follow the first 10 fine hey 
that's beautiful. But one thing you must remember is that the two greatest commandments falls in line and encompasses all of the Ten Commandments. All right? Now, that was my message that I have for you today from the Most High. Okay? Um, straight from the Most High. And uh, there is one more thing that I would like to share with you really, really, really quick. Because I am like running a little over the time that I wanted to. Um, give me one second. I do apologize. One second. Okay, so this is what you need to know. This is what um, the Most High in Spirit is telling me to tell you. Just in case sometimes we forget. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we forget. Sometimes we get so distracted in our busy lives. Sometimes there's so many things going on. So listen, right? If you think about it, a lot of the stuff that's going on right now would not be going on if we were to take responsibility within ourselves, okay, to follow the, the, the commandments. Whether it be the first 10 or the last two, the first two great commandments, whatever it is, okay, if we were practicing this love, then we wouldn't be going through half of the stuff that we're going through. Okay, so once we start taking action as individuals and we start implementing um, this this way of love that God has set out for us a long time ago, that nobody seems to be following since the beginning of the earth, ain't nobody was following it. Some people were, but obviously not enough, right? So God wants me to end it to let you guys know that he loves all of you. He loves his children and he wants you to call out to him and ask him for any help that you need. He wants you to call on his strong worshiping angels and Jesus Christ. Okay, you are not alone. I know that there's a lot going on out here in this world right now, but you will never be alone. Okay, the creator is always existing. Okay, he is omnipotent. He is omniscient. All right, and um, he's just amazing. So he wants me to end this video, um, this message with letting you know what love is. Now I explained to you what love is. That's the message that God wanted me to give you today. But I'm gonna tell you that love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. Love does not boast. Love is not proud. Love does not dishonor others. Love is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs, guys. And love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, and always hopes. Love always perseveres. Okay? And um, thank you guys for your time. Thank you for listening to the messages from the Most High. Messages straight from the Most High, the Supreme Divine. And um, I will see you again with another love message from the Most High. Have a great day. Bye.